Reese Reynolds, Alyssa Reynolds. N I R I S I. Tell me a story, Reese Reynolds. There was a far away land. There was a little girl named Princess Nerissi. Like ice lollies and orange juice. Do you want to be when you grow up? Um, a pediatrician. Care for babies. What instruments do you need to take care of the babies? A stethoscope. What do you do with a stethoscope? Listen to your heart. Otoscope for your ear. An otoscope for your ear? What do you do with an otoscope? Look through your ears to see if anything is in there. <laughs> what does your daddy do? What? Fixes people's bones. What's that called? He's a what? I ordered PX <laughs> She is the cutest thing. Yes. Oh my gosh. Do you have an intellectually curious child? As parents, we can do several things that will foster curiosity and the love of learning in our children and help them to grow up intellectually stimulated and successful. We invite Kalila Reynolds and daughter Narisi, baby genius Reynolds, to the conversation. Good morning Good to morning. you, mommy and baby. Hi, Kalila. Hi, Narisi. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Weekend Smile. How are you doing? Say very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Kalila, I have to start with you because at what point did you discover that you had a baby genius on your hand? <laughs> I think I started realizing it around 12 months when she just, her language skills just started exploding. I was like, hold on, you literally just turned one. Like a one-year-old should not be saying all of these things. At 15 months, she could spell her name. She could count to 10. Wow. She knew all of her body parts. I'm like, okay, this child is special. Whoa. Oh, oh my, my goodness. gosh. But have you exposed her to, or how do you manage uh, in, in terms of her exposure and, and telling her these new words, these new definitions? You know, how, yeah. how do you manage that? We just talk to her a lot. You know, she's a naturally curious child. I think most children are very curious. All children are very curious. And I, she's been going through that seat, that stage with the endless whys. Everything is, why? Why is the sun in the sky? Because God put it there. But why? But why? And you have to, and what we try to do is just answer every single question until we're literally exhausted and, and can't answer anymore yeah. and just give up. But we really try to foster it in that way. And then by reading a lot, and I noticed that my younger child now, Ryan, who's one, is now getting <laughs> generating a big interest in books. So today he brought a book to me and he's like, read, read. And he's what, 14 months now? Yeah. Wow. That is really nice. Yes. Kalila, I have so many questions, really. Because, <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you see, as a mother, you know, and, you know, we do, uh, moms can relate as well. One of the conversations that we've had is uh, the development of children and the fact that girls tend to develop a little bit faster than boys. Now, you have a boy on your hand and you're saying that at 14 months, he's asking you to read. Um, at 14 months, was Narisi doing the same thing? Do you find that she was... A little bit more advanced or can yeah. you yeah can you strike that similarity she is, a little bit, she is a little bit faster than he was at the same age so i think he is where now at 14 months he's where yeah. she was at 12 months yeah okay. so he's having yeah. all this language development all this yeah. language explosion but i noticed yeah. that earlier in him yeah. what i noticed with him though is that yeah. he is very athletic yeah. like he has very strong and he's very coordinated. He's really good at kicking a ball and kicking anything. Like he oh. could be eating a bun and throw the bun on the ground and start kicking it. <laughs> he's a very athletic boy. So he has you know, different skills and different interests than she did. Now, Kalila, you mentioned uh, paying attention to detail because that's, that sounds super important with your children. You also mentioned answering the whys, but do you have any other advice as to how parents can really and truly just raise intellectually curious children? These faces. Yay. I think Narisa wants to be interviewed because I told her she's... Oh, I have some questions for her. Yeah, we're, we're going to talk I'm gonna to her. I have some questions right. for her coming up. <laughs> okay, raising intellectual children. All right, so one of the pieces of advice that we got early on 
from our pediatrician actually was to stick to, to limit screen time, so television time. And they had said the advice was no screen time before two, before age two, which is really difficult to stick to. But I think yeah. that it does make a difference. We tried as much as possible with Nerisa. It's hard enough with Ryan because she watches TV. So if he's around, then he'll watch too. But we really do try to, to limit that screen time. Yes. <laughs> yes, what? Or at least we did with her. Yeah. And mm -hmm. what you what we find is that it offers more time for mm -hmm. you to interact with the child. So it's not just about her watching TV, but you too. So screen time also applies to whenever the child is in the room. So if you're busy watching TV, no, you want to watch TV. I want the Grinch TV. You want the Grinch TV? You're going to tell us the Grinch story soon. Yeah, so if you are the want parent... The Grinch on the TV, the Grinch video. <laughs> I showed her the Grinch video Nerisi. The Grinch movie yesterday because that's her favorite storybook. Okay. Oh. To you. Nerisi? Hi, Nerisi. Hi, Nerisi. Can you tell me about the Grinch? Are you going to tell Auntie about the Grinch? And she was just practicing yes. before <laughs> But well, Kalila, why did you decide to put her on YouTube? Because now she has her own channel. She has a growing fan base. And she has persons yep. who look forward to her, her videos. Her stories. <laughs> and her stories. And are just really fascinated by how, uh, you know, very intellectual and forward thinking she is. Well, it started because I do my own shows. So I do my business and finance programs, hence the sign, let's get this money. So I do my shows and she would see me recording in our basically home studio and she started expressing Mommy, an interest in recording too now. hello you see me talking to somebody <laughs> i'm talking to them yeah so just yeah. listen for a little bit okay she's so cute okay <laughs> she's the cutest yes. <laughs> yeah so she started she expressing an interest and started saying she wants to do her recording so i let her sit on my white chair the same spot where, that we are now <laughs> And we started doing it, and the camera, my videographer was still here, and we recorded it, and it was just so priceless. I said, no, man, this has to go out. This People need to see this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I hear what, in one of the videos where she said, you know, she wants to be a doctor, but do you, because, you know, sometimes parents will have some goals for their children. Do you see her doing anything in particular, career-wise? Oh, I think we've oh, lost your audio. Her. Yeah, we've lost the audio. <laughs> we've lost your, your audio. We're not hearing you so well. We're going to try and fix that. Yeah. Oh, sure. You're muted. I, Kalila, I think yeah, you're... Yeah, Nerita. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> there is a I was saying, I think it's too early to tell, but okay. at this age, you know, whatever she wants to do, I think she can definitely yeah. accomplish it. Definitely. Yeah. Nerisi, what's, your, what's the next story going to be about? What yeah. are you going to tell us about next? What's your next story? Yeah. Do you, do, you like, do you like YouTube, no, Nerisi? No, no. Do you like YouTube? Hmm? Yeah? yeah. What do you like about it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you, you going like to tell me? <laughs> Nerisi? Oh, okay. But I think, I think we actually have a story from Nerisi. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna throw it to that now. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> I like the Grinch. Take away Christmas. Who is the Grinch? I am the Grinch. <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are. I took all the Christmas decorations away. Ah! 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 can run fast. They can run fast like a train. I'm scared of the big T-Rex. I'm because he's scary and I'm afraid he will roar down our house like the wolf. We used to live in a straw house when we were three little pigs. Oh. Today we're going to talk about the planet. The sun is very, very hot because it's made of hot gas. Alexa says Uranus is the coldest planet. I don't know everything. I'm only two years old. Something small hit the moon. The moon fell out of the sky. And then what happened? It broke. The moon broke? Mm hmm The pieces went all over space. We went on an adventure. Yeehaw. That's what counts.
little girl say? There was a little girl named Princess Nerissi. She built a tall tower. The tower was made of blocks. It got fired by the volcano. <laughs> she is the cutest. She's really a baby genius. I don't know everything. I'm just two years old. <laughs> So, so Kalila, before you go, I have to ask you, is there, do you have any other plans for, for Nerisi, the baby genius? Is she going to share anything else with us? We have her stories so far, but what else can we look forward to? So, yeah, we have a, a collaboration with a, a major company, so we're going to be doing some work with them soon. Okay. She's going to be doing some more educational videos, so talking about her ABCs okay. and teaching kids. So I think we have a lot to look forward to. Awesome. Oh, that's stuff. so good. Awesome I stuff. can't wait to see it. Yes. Thank we're, you, Nerisi. We're, we're looking forward to hearing your next story, Nerisi. Thank you so much Thank for Thank you for joining us. us. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Kalila. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us as Kalila. well. <laughs> All right. Wow. All righty, guys. Too model, adorable. Model a love of learning. Be willing to talk and teach your children to find answers. These are only a few ways we can raise intellectually curious children. Thank you so much, Kalila and Nerisi Baby Genius Reynolds, for joining us. We can smile. We'll be back after the break.